Today in Lunch Bites 15 minute technology webinar series, we're going to be looking at Anytime Docs. Anytime Docs helps companies manage the problem they face when it comes to documenting and filing different types of um, documents in organizations, such as invoices, um, in a PDF format, primarily for the use with other systems like Anytime Collect. My name is James Mallory, I'm Director, Director of Marketing for E2B Technologies and I'm going to be your host for the presentation today. Um, brief overview. Anytime Docs provides the ability to create PDF files of invoices and other documents from your, your accounting software. Instead of creating one PDF with hundreds of invoices or hundreds of different documents within it, what you get is one PDF for every individual invoice or document which is what we want, right? So if we want to be able to go back and get a copy of a particular invoice, we don't have to go into the accounting system. If we're using a system like Anytime Collect, we don't have to you know, go and reprint the invoice to be able to resend it. We've got access to an original copy of that PDF that we can attach to an email and send out either manually or automated. We can map to file locations. So wherever these PDFs are created and stored by Anytime Docs, these are then stored out. We can map to those and integrate seamlessly with Anytime Collect communications, again, either manually or automated. So why? Why would you want Anytime Docs? Uh, most accounting systems can send PDF invoices, but most of them do not store those copies, so that if you need to resend them to a customer, you basically have to go back into the system and reprint them. One of the number one reasons for non-payment is that the customer claims they didn't get the invoice, which in most cases we know that's not true. We sent them the invoice, they just lost it. So having access to that original copy of the invoice is going to make your life a lot easier. Automate invoice presentment with Anytime Collect. If your system doesn't allow you to send invoices for whatever reason electronically, this is a solution for you. Print the invoices through the Anytime Docs print driver, stores them on the network location, and then you can either automate or manually send those copies to your customers. You can also send reminders before the customer is due with a copy of the invoice. You know, three days before the invoice is due and you haven't received payment, the system can automatically send, the system being Anytime Collect can automatically send a copy of the invoice created by Anytime Docs to your customer. Think about how beneficial that is. You can also identify disputes earlier in the process since you're getting the invoices to your customers faster. You can share invoices with other people in your organization, such as sales reps. And at the end of the day, you're going to get paid faster. So this is an example of the process and how simple it is working with a system. This is actually, um, I believe, QuickBooks. Uh, but Anytime Docs also works with other applications, including but not limited to, Sage 100, uh, 300, 500, Sage 50 being Peachtree, um, as well as many others. So, in the QuickBooks example here, step one, I'm going to basically enter a batch of invoices or go and print a batch of invoices. I'm going to select the invoices that I want to print. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to print to the E2B Docs print driver, right, which I select here. And it's just like printing to a regular printer. Um, the only difference is that it's going to create PDF copies. It can also be redirected, so if you want a hard copy, it can be used to create the PDF copy and file it, and then redirect that print job to a network printer where you can actually have hard copies. And that's it. PDF copies are created and filed based on the invoice number, okay, in this example, and then they're stored for you. Then within Anytime Collect, you can map, and here in the red section below is how we map to that document location and the masking to identify the specific document that's related to the invoice that we want to send. Then from within Anytime Collect, if I'm looking at an invoice in the accounts grid here, I simply expand the account, which is all the bear in there, kind of hidden behind. I pick the date and the document or the invoice, I double click on it, and it pulls up that invoice like magic. I can also get to it from the customer documents shortcut. So if I'm on the context of a customer or an account within Anytime Collect, I go to my customer documents, 
I open that and I can drill into the uh, invoices created by Anytime Docs from the accounting system stored on your network location. If I want to automatically have Anytime Collect send invoices or resend invoices as part of your credit collections process, you simply come into the Rules Engine, which is what we're looking at here, which can be detailed based on the credit class. So you're going to have a different workflow for different types of customers. And the little column highlighted there is Auto Tag. What that means is if we look at uh, sequence number four, their rule number four, is whenever I send a reminder email, I want to auto tag any of the invoices that are going to be due in the next three or five days so that those are included in my automated communications with my customers. Pretty slick. Um, now that's all available for pretty much any general accounting or ERP application. We do have additional functionality that's specific to the Sage 500 platform. And what this basically does is it allows you to use Anytime Docs with any Sage 500 ERP business form, as well as your registers and journals, where it will combine sub-reports into a single report. So very, very useful for accounting purposes. Within the Sage 500 edition of Anytime Docs, you can view the documents that are created um, when you go to you know, print the PDFs um, through a right-click context menu to view document um, when you're on that document number. We also created a Sage 500 Business Intelligence um, Explorer view so that you can actually find documents a lot easier, whether they're journals, uh, registers, uh, bills of lading, uh, invoices, statements, you name it. Any of the business forms or registers and journals in the system can be used with um, Anytime Docs and found through this BIE view. <clears throat> we have more information on the Anytime Docs product, uh, including a recorded demonstration, product spec sheet, etc., um, on our YouTube channel, um, as well as on our website at e2beanytime.com. Just to close out, there are situations where customers need more than Anytime Docs, which is kind of a very, very light document management solution. In those cases, we highly recommend um, one of two products, if not both. Um, one is our Anytime 500 document management solution. This one, again, is specific to the Sage 500 platform. So if you're using QuickBooks, Peachtree, or something else, that's probably not a solution. Uh, more information is available on our website. The other product that we recommend is Alltech DocLink, which is available for Sage 500, Epicor, and many, many other accounting applications. So if you're interested in something more than what we described today, contact us and we can get you a custom presentation quote. Uh, pricing. The accounting edition, which is basically your QuickBooks, um, Sage 50 being Peachtree, is really, really affordable. You're looking at $349 for the license and $69 annually for your client care, which is your unlimited maintenance and support contract. If you're using any of the ERP products on the market, you know, the Sage, uh, ERP solutions, Microsoft Dynamics, uh, Epicor, etc. Um, you're looking at $29.99 uh, for a license and $5.99 for your annual client card. So that concludes um, today's Lunch Bites. Um, if you have any questions, I have my contact information up on the screen. Um, if you would like more information about Anytime Docs itself or want to schedule a, a personalized demonstration or get a quote, contact my associate, Tiffany Kirkland. I have her contact information on the screen. So that's going to conclude the uh, Lunch Bites. I'd like to thank you all for taking time out, and we hope to see you on a future edition. Take care. Bye-bye.